Hey, it's Toto. It's the uh, 33rd episode, March 18th, the day after St. Patrick's Day. 33, Larry Bird. I bet he was Irish. I think he is Irish. Yeah. He? Yeah. What'd you do for St. Patrick's Day? Uh, nothing. Nothing. What did I do? I went to a Mexican place. And I'll tell you, they were so loud at this place. Now, it has the very best view in Vegas I've ever seen. But it was like a quinceanera, quinceanera party. That's the place in uh, Henderson? Yes. Yeah, okay. What's it called? La Cucaracha? <laughs> What's the place called? <laughs> L- Lindo Mucho Conda. Yeah, the food's great. Lindo Mucho Con. Lindo Mucho Con. Con. It was very, very good. Why are we talking about this? Because we're late today. A little technical difficulty that happens when you're in the semiconductor business. What do I mean by that is that it's all technology. Sometimes it just doesn't work. It's okay, though. It was okay. We're getting All right, let's get started yeah. because today sucked. Now, <laughs> today sucked for the market. Wow, this you is You know crazy, that I shorted dude. JP Morgan today up six? You did? I did. I shorted the Dow when it was up a hundred and plus points, and it was ended up down a ton. Let's get right to the bloody Blood. Sunday numbers. The day after St. Patrick's Day, the murder of the Nasdaq or the short-term pullback, four percent, whatever it is. Jason, why don't you cover the market for us? The Nasdaq actually <clears throat> minus four oh nine. Like That's the cleaner, three percent loser. Ouch. Uh, the Dow was actually green most of the day until uh, this afternoon. It was 32,862, down 153, S&P down 58, 39,15. Actually, I got the S&P. <clears throat> I know you do, but I want to go to the Dow. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, come on, man. I just blew it. I don't even know how to type, do I? This is a show about risk. What in the heck is going on here? It's a show about risk, and you risk being bored to death. When I'm not on it. Where is it? Here, right here? There we go. Let's go to the Dow. If you could pull it up for me. Uh, here's the Dow rallying. Um, this is the... Uh, the What is wrong with me? This That's is the, the spiders. <clears throat> is, this is the Dow Jones Industrial... The diamond. Put in right? a DJIA, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Those are the spiders. Those yeah. are what I traded today. Yeah. So I shorted 5,000 of these. Um... The market was up. Let's see here. We rallied up about. Ooh boy. Let me tell you why I shorted. I I was like thirty one and a half, and I shorted five thousand of them. I made a quick twelve thousand bucks. Yeah. By the way, you know I I want to make sure that everybody knows because I feel like we don't publish our trades, and I guess we're really not going to do that. I guess. But just for the record, so I can show you proof. I mean, we just paid twelve thousand three five. Yeah, right? paper trade. That wasn't a paper trade. I'm kidding. That was a real trade. I know. We don't paper trade. What the heck does that mean? <clears throat> it was a joke. Yeah, okay, not funny. Um, all right, not funny at all. <laughs> all right, so I got short the diamonds. Why did I get short the diamonds? Now, you notice there that's JPM. You see that right there? I do. JP Morgan. I shorted that, too. JP Morgan, um, I'm going to pull this up, Nick. Give me a second here. JP Morgan, um, obviously the largest bank in the country. Um, it literally has been parabolic. Oh wow! I made well, that was good money today. Wow! <clears throat> Only up a dollar sixty five. I shorted it when it was up six. Let's go over the one month and to see it's effectively rallied. Wow! That doesn't even do it justice. This thing has went okay. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Yeah, right. there you go. Um, and so I I literally got short here one sixty one. I got lucky. Why did I get lucky? Because I saw Josh. What's his name on CNBC mm-hmm. talking about how the bond markets never trusted the Fed. And you got this sort of everyone getting on this late stage rally in the the curve that is we're at 175. Ooh. (laughs) Oh my God. Now it's a fast, it is fast from 0.75 to 175 on the 10 year, right? right? But you would, the Wall Street always has to have some crisis to talk about. Of course. The crisis is. That bond yields on the ten year has went has went from is that right has went from I think it probably is no one said I was an English major has went from 0.75 to one point seven five 
This is why I say that Wall Street like creates its own fantasy. So the gross stocks are going to get clipped. Kathy Wood gets clipped for $2 billion today. They send gross stocks down because of a 1% move in interest rates it was in the 10-year. So at this point, everyone's euphoric about the curve. The Dow's up. The Nasdaq's down. I'm up a little bit in the NASDAQ. I sell my NASDAQ triple Qs. I get short the Dow and I get lucky. Boom, it goes down two points. Yeah. 200 points for me. Make 12 grand. I'm out of the Qs. I get long the Qs in the right at the close. I know you're, you're like you're sick to your stomach because you think they're going lower. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So I went long 15,000 Qs, which is about $5 million worth of the Qs. Cut them back to, to 10,000 Qs into the close. We, after the close, they rallied about a half, a, about a point from. 312 to 313, 31290. So I cut that position back. Which I'm grateful for because tomorrow is quadruple witching day. What does quadruple witching day mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, okay, we're going to explain quadruple witching day. For you home gamers, get out your pens and paper so you can write this down and learn a Wall Street word quadruple. Hey, hey, welcome <clears throat> back to Wall Street Words. I'm Todd Alt, your host. And this is, the word today is quadruple witching. Quadruple witching refers to a date on which stock index futures, stock index options, stock options, and single stock futures expire simultaneously. So while stock options, contracts, and index options expire on the third Friday of every month, all four asset classes expire simultaneously on the third Friday of March, June, September, and December. Only four times all year. So you're looking at a lot of potential volatility tomorrow, a lot of spinning out of stuff. So just be prepared. The market is going to be a little bit crazy tomorrow. It was crazy today. I don't see any stability tomorrow at all, in my opinion. You're negative. I am. You're so negative. What's up with that? I just don't trust you. You're married to that pretty girl? Does she let you be negative all the time? Yeah, she does. Really? Well, I mean, in this sense, you got to yeah. work on that. Just because, just because there's not a Republican president, that's part of it. Is it true that Joe Biden's calling Camilla his president? Is that true or is that fake? No, it's true. Is that a deep fake? No, it's very true. President Biden mistakenly refers to his vice president as President Harris during an announcement about COVID vaccines today. Hey, what do we got on the show today? What do we have on the show? The <clears throat> NFL strikes an 11 year deal. People still watch football. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Hey, I love football. I was a former football player. My son played at UCLA, got himself injured, but hey, he got into UCLA for football. That's big. Big hey, time better division. Better than one. I did. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, for sure. And uh what else is going on? Eleven year deal for foot uh for football. We didn't even cover billions uh, and billions of dollars. Yeah. And Hendenburg strikes again. For sure. Right, for sure. We'll get into that. We gotta talk about crypto. March oil, Madness, get your uh What's you got those? What are those called? Your brackets? Yeah. Get your brackets in. And we're giving away $1,000 to the winner who picks the, the final two teams in the, in the playoffs. They don't have to win. Right. $1,000 who picks the final team. The final, final two. two. Okay. Right. 500 to everyone who picks the final, final four. four. Okay. And 250 to everyone who picks the final 16. Okay. Can we do that? We can do that for sure. The we- link is below. Don't be foolish. Get your chart in. You got to get them in by when? By tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Got You got to fill it out start, tonight. The games start tomorrow early. Yeah, that's okay, though. That's okay. That's, what, what, that's the 60. That's fine. Isn't there 64? Yeah. What are the chances? I mean, There's come no on, problem. man. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, what um, do you mean we didn't get it to? Hinden, we talked about Hindenburg strikes again. Well, we're going to go into detail about that. I know, but what yeah. else? What else is on the agenda? Well, we're, Let's give them something to think about besides March Madness. Hindenburg. Uh, we had a. Uh, Ooh, COVID's back in France. Yeah, COVID oh, it, lockdown, uh-oh. triple mask, triple vaccines. Ran, Doctor Doctor Actually, Rand Paul. that 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 prime minister tried to keep France open though. Yeah, he couldn't control the bureaucrats. Yeah, it's just in the in the in the European. There's a new Union. variant, well, special COVID variant. Yeah, the EU is you know, it's just a power. Tomorrow, control. I get my vaccine. So Moderna, don't do me wrong, buddy. Is that just? One or two? I'm getting one. It's, oh, it's one. No, I got to get two of them, but only one tomorrow. The first one, the first vaccine tomorrow. When's the second? Well, 30 days later. Okay. You worried about me? So you think you might get some? You might get some uh, sickness tomorrow. Come on, be positive. I heard you don't get sick after the first one. You get a little sick after the second one. Okay. 
What do you what do you what do you want to talk about today? Well, I'm definitely not getting the vaccine, but that's just me. If well, you want to let's get it, it's go. Fine. I mean, I can tell you, POWW, our largest holding. Let's look into this. Let's look uh, into these tickers. Oh boy, that was not good. Where is it? Ammo, ammo, yeah. munitions. After hours, a little bump. Yeah, whatever. Not much. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Second about five eighty three. So Nick, we're on the screen, I presume, right? Yeah. So five seventy four down twenty seven cents on four point nine percent. What do you What do you got to say about? I this got one? nothing to say. We still have a profit. Okay, that's. Fine. I'm still long. I'm a little bummed. It's not stronger. Yeah, but everyone would, needs bullets. Everyone I talk to says you can't get bullets, it's, and they had news today, and nobody cared. Nobody. It's, gee, I know another ticker what that happens to all the time. Yeah, no it's, one. Had, no news. Nobody cared. Ouch! 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 It's more like bad timing, honestly. You think so? Yeah, they uh, dropped news. Smith and Wesson was down today. Yeah, Vista was up. I don't know. I mean, it was just a day where it was just. Bad they got. Timing. They said it got a new bullet line or something, right? Yep, they do. They've got a. New contract. It's 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 catered so, more towards law enforcement. So Powell was down. We already talked about that. Uh, the Hall of Fame. The uh, what do they call it? NFTs. Yeah. Live on the air last night. I bought this. Why we were here? That was blah. That's blah for it didn't happen. It actually was actually, up in the we, morning. Yeah. It actually, we actually had a profit. Yes. Yeah. Right there for like a millisecond. Three twenty eight. Yeah. Whoops. We we're. Hey, we're profitable for two seconds. <laughs> and then it just dropped. Yeah, but I still like it. So full disclosure, we have a position here at about three dollars and three dollars and five, five cents. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot about full disclosure. Yeah. yeah let's not forget that. Also, um We uh traded Clean Spark today, Nick. Let's go on the screen here. Believe it or not, well, this thing rallied up to twenty five bucks and I put a limit in at twenty five. 30 and 40 and got filled on some stock. Yeah. So we cut our position. We have 16,000 shares. We're long clean spark. I mean, all you do, you won't shut up about it. So we bought it. Want to keep buying it. Yeah. Something about it makes energy and it's Dude, clean. It's going to be like a sustainable, sparkly. it's going to be a sustainable method for uh, mining microgrids. Yeah. For mining. And you know what I heard? Want to know what I heard about Bitcoin? What? I don't know if you guys will believe this because I don't believe it, but I heard that. You know how when Exxon drills for oil, they vent all that extra gas? Yeah. I'm hearing they're going to vent the gas into some form of a process to mine for Bitcoin. What? Like a clean energy mining Bitcoin. Yeah, that's They're what... going to take all the natural gas that they normally vent into the oh, air, Yeah, and they're going to mine for Bitcoin. Hmm. I actually heard that. I mean, it sounds like nonsense. I don't know about that. Why? I don't know. I just like to see. I like to see the write-up. What did you say? Yeah, Crypto Joe told me. Uh, Josh, our producer, is in studio today. Cool. We should we should pan over to him, by the way. Yeah, Josh. Yeah. He's he, get, he's getting the brackets right. He didn't have dinner with us last night. He did. Yeah. But you didn't join us. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Crypto Joe told us that. I don't know if you can believe him or not. He may be a born liar. So renewable energies for CleanSpark, they're going to have the lowest cost of mining Bitcoin in the world. That's what they're claiming. CleanSpark is going to have the lowest cost of mining in the world. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we're long. Yeah. Good luck with that. We already talked about J.P. Morgan. We bought this thing, uh, Nick. This next thing, we bought this Lion Group last night. Traded it for a profit. What do you want me to say? No, it's just a yeah, crypto whatever. ticker. Yeah, crypto ticker was up. We sold it. That's it. We didn't. We couldn't get a big enough position. I think we had like ten thousand shares. Yeah. or five thousand shares, and I was like frustrated because it kept going up. So I just sold it. Same thing. <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> Same thing then, with DSS. I was pissed, and then we bought this DS. This whatever this is. Document security systems. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, I'm being a smart ass. So I know, sorry. I know. That's not it's fine. Nice to me. We bought DSS. I can't get a big enough position. I know. It rallies up. I sell it. I buy some back. I mean, it's where did it end up? Right where we sold. We bought Four, it at three ninety nine. Yeah. It went to four thirty. I mean, four twenty five. Look, the market crashed. Market all sucked. The momentum nothing today. happened today. Yeah, nothing right. happened. Come on, we got to get positive here. Oh well, let's this find is, something this positive. This got to be a much better show. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? You we want to go to RIDE. You brought up Clover Health. That was part of my story with Hindenburg. Okay, let's go to it. And SOS. You want to go to it right now? Or you want to go through something else first? Uh, we can talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Did you bring up Clover yet? Don't. Can, let's drop off that screen. Sorry, guys. We're a little disjointed. We're, we're traveling today. Yeah. It's the show big... is traveling to California. Everyone in this room is about to drive to California. So I think we're all a little down about the market. Okay, I got to get my attitude. It's getaway let's, day. Let's, let's getaway day. It's what it is. Let's improve our attitude. What do you want to cover first? Bitcoin? Yeah, let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's 50, go. 57,660. 
And Ethereum 1776. Remember the other day we told the audience this is a blah time? It is. We're, I think we're being proven right. We're in the blahs. We are. How do we get out of it? I don't know. It's affecting us, too. Yeah, I can feel it. 5794. 57. Ooh, 57760. Okay. And, uh, wow, Ethereum 17777. Nice. All Slot right. machine. Slot machine. Ding, ding, ding. You know, oil went down $5 a barrel today. Crushed. 8% loser. Big loss. So does that mean that eventually, like in two weeks or so, gas prices will be under $4 again in California? No. No? With all the taxes that Gavin Newsom's putting on taxes, or gas is probably going higher. How much is like a gallon of 93 octane over where you, where you are? Oh, probably $4. Four, no, four higher. Yeah, 460 okay. I'll take the over 450 You'll take the over? It's who's got the Gas Buddy we app? We took the over the Super Bowl. We got crushed. Yeah. Who's wa- who's watching? Who has the Gas Buddy app? Let's look you at what uh, the price of gas is in pick California. Pick out uh, Orange County, like uh, Huntington Beach or Newport Beach or somewhere in that area, Orange County. Give me a 93 octane gas. I bet it's like 450 plus. So the market's blah. Yep. The bond market doesn't trust the Fed. Nope. The Fed doesn't trust the bond market. They said they're not going to. Now, did you get this right? They're not going to raise rates till 2023. Right. What's the problem here? What is the problem with the market? Seriously. What is the problem, bond market? The Fed said they're not going to raise rates till 2023. People don't believe them, by the way. Ah. They think that there's inflation because of the printing of currency. That's a good case. Right. So inflation is going to spark up. What about the jobs report today? Jobs report, they were expecting 700,000 new jobless claims. For those of you that aren't sure what that is, that's folks that are actually filing new unemployment claims. Ouch. It actually came in at, let me get this right, 770,000. That's a 10% above expectation. That's negative. That's a uh, pretty heavy red indicator for... Um, for the economy as a whole. What are we getting some? We got anybody talking? Crypto Joe. Hey, Crypto Joe. Gonzaga Syracuse. I agree, buddy. I agree. Um, let's see what else we want to talk about. The wh- Okay, Todd. So mm-hmm. why? Okay, so I'm listening. all this inflation. You Greener know, said what? Oh, talking about the bond market? Oh, he said Syracuse who? Gonzaga? Yeah. Or is that you? I got Syracuse. Oh, and Kramer has Gonzaga? I don't know if that's We got them both. Okay. okay. Well, why isn't gold and why isn't silver? Why aren't they going up? I think this is just a rotation. Okay. I think it's just nonsense. All Wall Street chatter about not knowing where to go, so Wall Street's got to make you all nervous. You th- yeah, you think that's what it is. It could be. Yeah, it's nothing going on. Like here. all the power players are just, yeah, money. They got nothing to do. They're right. bored. No, really. Yeah. I mean, the rates have went to 175. Right. And if you're... If you're you okay. If you're buying a house, it's three percent. Let me pretend like I'm Jason, All right. and I'll, I'll I'll give you the conspiracy theory. All right, let's hear it. What happens when the ten year is up and the short term two year and b- below is down? There's mm-hmm. a big yield curve, right? Yes. There's a fat yield curve right now for the banks to make money. That is true. That's why, by the way, I shorted J.P. Morgan only for the day. By the way, I covered. Yeah. So we're be clear. I made oh, twelve yeah, grand on sure. the trade. The reason why I did that though was because. You had this kind of euphoric momentum today, and JP up six dollars. When I shorted it, it was up six dollars. It already rallied like unabated fifty points from the bottom, right? And it's because there's a yield curve, right? Right, the banks. So they're if you're gonna, I mean, think about it, right? Yeah. If you're gonna reflate the economy, hard assets. Okay, let me get this straight because I'm, I'm I feel like I'm confusing people. Think about real estate. Think about gold. Think mm-hmm. about Bitcoin. Sure, now you do. Right? Yep. Versus owning a cash asset where they're deflating it. They're devaluing the currency by printing a ton of it, right? Right. Where if you're going to strengthen the banks, you, you, the bond market is letting the yield curves float up. There's this big spread for the banks to make a spread. That's the bank, It's bank on. That's why all the financials are doing so well. But the dollar's been decently strong, too. Yeah, but they're still, look, think of it this, think of the spread for them. Mm-hmm. Anybody, look, 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 look at Crypto Joe. Crypto Joe just bought a house. Right. His rate quoted was 2.5% a month ago. Yes. Now it's 3.5%. Yes. A full percentage point higher on on all those variable loans for these guys. That's, or, that's huge. Right? They're gonna they're they're making the spread. The, the short yeah. end of the curve's not up much. Yeah, that's the massive. ten years up. So you're reflating the economy. Yep. The banks are gonna get stronger. 
they're, the banks, by the way, are unwinding all this PPP. They're unwinding all their the reserves against some of their loan loss. No, that's so true. they're showing huge earnings because they reserved a ton because of COVID. The yep. world's coming to an end. We better reserve fifty billion, a <laughs> hundred billion. We're going to have write downs like crazy. Did they have the write downs? They weren't doing a lot of. Remember, they were in trouble. They weren't doing the loans they were supposed to be doing. No, they were scrutinizing. Why, everything. why not buy the the take money in on the short term? Sure. with all that extra currency and lend it on the long term. And if you're Wells Fargo, oh, check out Wells Fargo. You, oh. If you're Wells Fargo, your banking system can go down. Just let it go down and earn an extra five million over the weekend. That's what happened by not giving people their check. They but they apologized, Todd. They, they said they, they were said, sorry. Hey, our apologies. Our site crashed when people were checking to see if their money was posted. We're, we I apologize is, for that. I loved Wells Fargo at thirty twenty nine. Yeah, and it's forty dollars and eighty one cents. Yep. Christy Alt said, "Just went to Chevron." Yesterday, oh. four thirty six a gallon for premium. All right, that I, is one pretty girl. Have you ever I, seen my wife? Yeah, multiple times. I right? thought it was four fifty. I'm was so close. excited! I finally get to see her tonight. Yes, this long distance stuff is driving me crazy. Is it like you went off to college? Yeah, I mean, I'm like gone for a certain. Number. It's kind of ridiculous. The whole thing's stupid. I mean, you're. It's almost like you're a pro athlete. You're like, I'm like I, I gotta go to. I gotta go golfing. I'll be back. Now it's baseball. Stay so home with the family. It's getaway day. You're just trying to get away, get away. and get like, back yeah, there. Let's get it out of the way. Maybe have a cocktail or two. Oh, there's for sure. I don't drink, but tonight I will. Yeah, have a cocktail or two. Right. Okay, good. Hey, uh, the congressman's interview was on yesterday, and boy, was I excited. Oh, my God. Yeah. What a what a turnout there. Uh, thanks to everyone who did that uh, podcast, and thanks to Aaron Schock, Congressman Aaron Schock. That was part one of what will be part two and three. I'm getting Pretty news excited. about, uh, oh, this is fake news. Look how they market it. Oh, they're, the Biden administration's canceling $1 billion in student loan debt. No, they're not. But then you read it and you're like, oh, it's only certain loans that were def- where uh, students were defrauded. I mean, that's, that's clickbait right there. I don't understand how you lend money and then you just cancel it. Makes no sense to me. Look at that. It's clickbait. School is exciting and expensive. Let's get back on track, though. All right, let's get back so on Wells track. So Wells Fargo... Uh, what what actually happened here, oh, Nick? Can we pull up the screen on Wells Fargo? Wells Fargo. Let's was... look at. The, but by the way, so I can show you what I mean by a reflation trade. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Six months, twenty three dollars to forty. Warren Buffett, how do you feel about selling your Wells Fargo now? Yeah, that's it's a lot. Of that revenue. didn't work out. No. Last six months up sixty nine percent, sixteen dollars. Warren, where'd you sell your? Now listen, I'm not criticizing one of my favorite people in the whole world. Yeah. But you sold it right about down here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Remember this? Down here? Yeah, all gone. Uh, now it's $40.81. So what'd they do? Did they swindle anybody? You know, no, they just, they said they it was just... made a mistake. Yeah, they said the traffic of the site Internet was crashed. People couldn't get a hold of their money. Yeah. Got to keep it over an extra weekend. So they made some uh, five million extra. Five million extra in interest. Estimated interest on that. That's estimated. What, so. what interest? They're probably lending it on that treasury, the, oh. the, the tenure. Yeah. Over the weekend. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Right. What else you want to cover? I want to get into R I D E. Hey, let's go for a ride with 32 minutes left. We're taking a uh, Lordstown Motors. This one's going to be good. Now, is this the truck one? This is the No, they're no, the truck one. Yeah, they, they do trucks. make trucks. Right. So They bought an old GM plant. Yeah, right? that's right. Lordstown. Right. Is that Ohio? Yeah, yeah, and I think they took a couple batteries like Everettis and said we can what, what's the deal there? <laughs> Basically, right. well I'm going to pull that chart up, Nick. Let me pull it up real quick. I think I have it posted. Let's go here. You You probably do. But no, I got it. It's over there. I see it. Hey, here we go. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Okay, Nick, are we up now? (laughs) Oh, Lord. Okay, let's look at this because this is a a whipping. Dude, so Hindenburg strikes again, right? Oh, yikes. You remember they hit... This was a SPAC deal, correct? Yeah, it was $4 billion valuation out of Mm. thin air. They have Mm. no sellable product, no revenue, and Hindenburg called them out on it. Uh, you know, Hindenburg was uh, pretty f- infamous for calling out uh, NKLA to Nikola. Remember that? Yeah, but I don't think there's any reason to be negative here. So you, you, people don't have product right away. Let me get into it. You can be pre-product, pre-revenue. Well, what about the allegations? Do they matter? Let's, okay, tell me all about the allegations. Nick, are we still on the screen? Do me a favor. Can we go back to the screen of Lordstown? I'm going to go to the one day. Um, it looks It looks bad. That's fine. Okay. Pull up the third tab from the right. Third tab from the right. Hindenburg. Which one's the third yeah, tab Hindenburg. right here? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, do you want them to put it on the screen? Uh, I don't, you know what? They can not They can read that right there. There you go. That's what? good. Put What's that on the, the screen right uh, there. L- the Lordstown Motor Mirage. 
fake orders, undisclosed production hurdles. They just had a huge inferno. And a, a car blew up today. Prototype inferno. A, a truck. I'm sorry. Um, so what they're accusing? Ouch. They're accusing Lordstown of fabricating an actual uh, account or a contract of I think it was seven hundred and thirty-five million dollars, fourteen thousand trucks. They did some research and they found out that the company that they were looking, uh, that they posted a contract with was in an apartment in Texas and that they didn't do any, uh, they didn't make any vehicles at all. They don't have any operations. So that's what Lordstown was posting and the actual stock dropped 13 or 14% today. Yeah, but I saw, I saw a bunch of interviews with them on CNBC. They looked like they were in a factory. Okay. But what if they're fabricating numbers? In order to inflate the share price. That's a strong allegation. Yeah, 14,000 truck deal from E Squared Energy, supposedly representing $735 million in sales. E Squared is based out of a small residential apartment in Texas that doesn't operate a vehicle fleet. Now, I got to say something. There's no way on God's green earth that that's true. Tell me that there's no way that that's true. That's what they're alleging? That's what they're alleging. Okay. If you're, if you gotta be, you gotta, no one's this stupid, right? I don't you're, know. There's no way this is correct, right? That they're actually operating this E squared thing where they report a $700 million order out of like some apartment building? No way. It's gotta be a mistake. Well, that's what they're saying. So I don't know. No, this says here, hold on a second here. A thousand truck order, $52 million comes up from a two person startup that operates out of a, Regis virtual office with a mailing address at the UPS store. We spoke to the owner who acknowledged it won't actually order any vehicles. Instead, described it as a pre-order as a mere marketing relationship. Ouch. Yeah, also, uh, they went public in October of 2020. Uh -huh. But since that brief time, executives and directors have unloaded $28 million in stock. That's mm. a lot. Wow. So, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. They had a uh, huge implosion of a vehicle. Uh, it went up in flames just the other day. You got the police report. You can do, a, do your own research. Yeah, but cars crash all the time. Yeah, that's one of the things I didn't like what they were doing the Tesla in the beginning. They're like, this Tesla car crashed. Right. Yeah, that, dude, people, cars crash every day. GM cars crash. Ford cars crash every day. Gas engine in cars crash every day. So there's going to be a percentage of them that get in accidents. There's going to be a percentage of them that catch on fire. That's just a bullshit. Statistic. Except for the fact they have a whistleblower, and they said that uh, the whistleblower they ride claim they will be producing vehicles by September. A former employee explained how the company has experienced delays in making drastic design modifications, putting them an estimated three to four years away from production, and they haven't completed a single test or validation, including the cold weather testing, durability testing, etc., from the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. Those tests are required by the NHTSA, not a one. So what are we doing here? I don't know. It looks like Ride's got an issue. I mean, is this a potential? Maybe a highway to hell. It's a potential short position. I'm on a highway yeah. to hell. It looks, sounds like Ride, R-I-D-E, <laughs> may be on the wrong, maybe the wrong ride. Does this, does this actually, this hurts, Spax. I mean, this is. You know, for those home gamers and millennials out there, you used to be able to hitchhike. Remember those days? Yeah, for sure. Can't hitchhike anymore. No way. Like you get murdered or something, right? There's no way you can hitchhike. No. How, no. Who's picking people up these days? I don't know. Anyone? I was talking to Skyla yesterday, and she's like, "I'm gonna go hiking in the Red Rock Mountains." And she tells me, like, you know, the Skyla is like a buck oh five. Yeah. Right. Uh, I won't comment on anything other than that. I mean, and, what's she gonna and do? She's gonna go hire. I go. So are you gonna bring somebody, uh, Madison? Oh yeah, I'll bring Madison. Right. Okay. What about a gun or something? Yeah. yeah. Two little cute women, twenty years old, bebopping around on a fifteen mile trail all by themselves. It'll be fine. No, that's where it is. that could be trouble. I wouldn't. I Roland, wouldn't don't that. let it happen. Yeah. Don't say it ain't so, Roland. No, that's not good. I, I, she probably didn't like me saying you got to bring a man with you. Bring a man. No, but you can bring. I'm, the... a, I'm independent. I don't need no man. Look, she can bring the great equalizer. Yeah, for sure. Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson yeah. for sure. Well, I think Skyler would shoot somebody. If she had to. If she feared for her life. So if you're uh, the CEO of Lord Lordstown's Motors, Lord, would you be shooting someone? No. This does not look good. I'd be finding out who leaked. What are we going to do? This is a lot of... Con uh, no, this is... Uh, the one thing you got to give to Hindenburg is they do do a lot of research. They're not always right. Right. 
their 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 picks are not exact, but they're pretty good. You See, know. that's why I brought up some of the others. Let's look at some of the others they picked on. Do I think I have SOS up there, and I have uh, mm-hmm. Clover. So I was just going to give Ouch. an example of because actually Clover rebounded, but now it's back down. SOS did rebound. Hey, this uh, this Sunday, one p.m. K E I B eleven fifty the Patriot on iHeartRadio also. iHeartRadio the app you can get us globally on the Patriot. We're actually going to be doing it right from Orange County. One p.m. specific. Pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. I like that. We're on the radio one o'clock Sundays. Check so, it out. Hey, and don't forget to like the show. I mean, come on, twenty two thousand of you like the show. Where's the other million? I need a million people to like the show. Granted, I realize that. We're just getting started, right? We're at episode 33. Yeah, we've only done it live, what? Have you ever done 33 of anything in a row? 33 of anything in a row. Right. Uh, like daily? Daily. Well, I guess we do take the weekends off. Yeah, that's true. So it's not really 33 in a row. 33 business days. 33 business days. That's still quite a feat. Are we any holidays in there? We we are off on the holidays. We had a holiday? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, thank God. President's I needed Day. that. That was great. When's our next holiday? I don't know. Easter? Do we need one? Easter. When's it, what, what day? That's Sunday. You're going to be in Easter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but it that's not Sunday. a holiday. doesn't matter. Yeah, we should take Good Friday off. Hey, if you got any comments or questions, the audience, we'd love to answer your questions. Starting next week, we're going to add a 10-minute session where we only take audience questions. Are we going to – can that be from pretty much any kind of subject? Or yeah. Within reason, obviously. Well, within reason. Where do babies come from? I mean, we could talk about I stocks. I won't know anything about that. We'll talk to Skyla. We could talk about sports betting, blackjack, poker. We're definitely going to start about sports betting because we got yeah. the – we're going to handicap, right? Yeah, the baseball's coming up. Right. So you're only going to handicap baseball? Yeah, that's what I'm good at. You're going to give out picks? I might. How much are the picks going to be? Uh, oh, gonna how much your big lock look, pick going to be? They're going to be free at first, everyone. Uh, you yeah, gotta, we're going to get, get, get you hooked. Yeah, then, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Really? Yeah. I might, we think I'm going to just jump out there like uh, like Vegas Dave or something and just start ripping Vegas off. Dave. You think I'm going to just start giving whale plays for like four ninety nine a pick, and then if they don't come through, I'm going to get all this hate mail, and I'm going to have to give away free picks for the next week? Wow. That was interesting. I mean, that's what happens. I mean, people. There's people online that track these folks, and from my understanding, they uh, they're not exactly winning handicappers. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong on that. Hey, ever go shooting at these local gun ranges here in Vegas? No, but we can go shooting on the desert also here. I went to shooting with my wife at a local gun range, and they have all kinds of guns. Oh, you can shoot like 50s. the craziest stuff there I've ever seen. At 702, you can definitely shoot 50 cals. You know, but how do you shoot? There's there's a gun there that shoots 1,100 rounds a minute. Oh, fully auto stuff. Yeah. Oh, you went to I the... shot fully auto stuff. Oh, yeah. I know where you went. Yeah, but you can't even get 1,100 rounds in the clip. Do you know how much that would cost if you wanted to unload 1,100 rounds right now? What would it cost? I mean, probably $3 a round. Oh, really? Yeah, for that. Oh, P-O-W-W. Yeah, I don't... Hey, this is not an endorsement. <laughs> we are an entertainment show. We are not for financial professionals. We're not licensed. We're just telling you what we're doing, what we're trading, etc. So, yeah, we need to do that, though. We can have some filming, go shooting, do some tactical stuff. I, I think that's a great idea. Get you in some camo. Oh, God. You know what I mean? What would I look like, a big jolly green giant? Todd, all deck. we'll get him some, uh, what's the uh, the stuff under the eyes? He'll be look like Rambo. It'll be Rambo Todd. Yeah, we'll be go out going to war. So this is the headline you're going to see tonight. and Let's bring it up on the screen there. Uh, <laughs> let's bring it up the, on the screen real quickly here, and then we'll get to the NFL uh, Nick, this is the headline. NASDAQ tumbles 3% as soaring yields hit tech stocks. S&P closes down 1.5%. This is like, I hate all this propaganda. Like, this, this they're is pushing it. Rid- ridiculous. Can you feel it? Like It's just like feeling like manipulation. AstraZeneca, by the way. Oh, they're in trouble. They turn, No, come on. Okay. They, they, the regulators allowed them to start uh, using the COVID vaccine again. Put this in mm. perspective. 17 million vaccines, Right. 27 people have died out of 17 million people, and they don't know for sure if it's even for those vaccines. Have they really vaccinated that many people? 17 million, yeah. Okay, globally. that's a number I didn't know. Globally. I know they were shut down temporarily. They were. I, I think temporarily. We're, we're probably overreacting here. There, there, is, there has been some reaction. Right. 27 people have had a reaction. Yeah. But far more people who have died from COVID and the complications of COVID than 27 out of 17 million. Oh, yeah, for sure. I know. We're being a little cautious there. 
Uh, there's, you know, there's side effects for any kind of vaccine or any kind sure. of big pharma, uh, you know, drug. So it's just a personal choice. My body, my choice. If you want to get into that. All right. So, Nick, let's go to the screen real quick here. We'll bring it up. And it says... He didn't want to get into that. NFL finalizes new 11-year media rights deal. <laughs> Amazon gets exclusive Thursday night <laughs> rights. Do you want to talk about that? You don't want to talk about my body, my choice, huh? We're live. All right, let's That's get not it. very funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny when you use it against people that don't want you to use it against them. What do you them. mean? No, never Talking mind. about abortion? It's just a double standard, yeah. Yeah, of course. So right, Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, 11-year media deal. <laughs> hey, I, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. This is why I know people practice stupidity. Right. Now, I'm talking about my sister. I love my sister. I love my sister. I do. She's my younger sister, four years. Okay. But when you talk about my body, my right, and all these other cliches, she lives in Nashville, just outside of Tennessee, just out of, outside of Nashville, okay. in Tennessee. She grew up in Huntington Beach. She moved to Nashville and became a hick. <laughs> What's wrong with Hicks? There's nothing wrong with Hicks. Except that this is what she told me when she worked at a Shoney's. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Shoney's is. I know what is, a Shoney's okay. is. Ah, listen, I happen to like Shoney's. Hey, the breakfast is good. It is. If you, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Look at Advanced Denny's. Okay, yeah. Right, got Yeah, it? for sure. Okay. My sister said to me that she doesn't believe in secondhand smoke. Okay, that's a bit crazy. No, no. no. But that's her I, belief. I want to, yeah, of course it is. But like, this is the problem where these things get, like, geographically, things get a little weird, right? Okay. Now, maybe it's not because she lives in Nashville, but what do you mean you don't believe in it? First, I, when people suck you know, and then they blow it out, isn't that the secondhand part? Let me what ask you. What do you mean you don't believe it exists or on, you don't on, believe it has a problem? Let I me mean, ask you a question. And then she told me her mother in law doesn't believe in it either. Like, my mother in law doesn't believe in it either. Like, you don't, she's smoking around the kids. They're like three years old. I'm like, you realize when you blow it out your lungs, that's the second part. <laughs> can uh, I, I don't can, believe in it. Can I ask you one question? Is it, did, did she not believe in secondhand smoke in Huntington Beach? I don't know. What does Nashville have to do with it? You think she was influenced? The, in the girl grew up in Surftown, USA. Okay, they don't smoke there? I don't know what we do there. They probably do more drugs there. Okay. So yeah, what, is that, what is that? Uh, is it? Uh, I got to make sure I get this right because it, I'm like losing my mind here. Sublime. God, God. Let the record show I'm backing the Tennesseans. Are you? Yeah, because uh, it had nothing to do with Tennessee. I didn't say it was Tennessee. I said she lives in Tennessee. But she probably believed in not believed in secondhand smoke in, in Orange County. I mean, this is something that she grew... You think she believed this out of the womb? All I can tell you is that she got to, went to Tennessee. So I, I, I want to ask Skyla a question. Is it, What about secondhand smoke from marijuana? <laughs> yeah, see, hot I knew box. she was going to go there. Can we get a question? She, to to she, told, she told me, she said that she, like, seal up the room, Skyla, okay. and she'd, like, smoke all this marijuana in there, and it would be all hot boxed in there, and say... <laughs> You breathe it in, you and then you breathe. It, you constantly breathe in the the rebreather of marijuana. Right. So your lungs are just repolluting themselves every second. Yeah, but weed's good for you. Oh yeah, okay. I don't have a problem with it's it. It's medicinal. It is. It's but like can you just not smoke it? Why don't you just it, eat it? It's like an gummies. analgesic. I just have a problem with the smoke smelling in my condo because I think there's a guy below us that hot boxes all the time and sets Pete off Rose? the fire alarms. No. P probably eats gummies. He's probably low key. Hey. Someone told me that Pete Rose goes and signs down at the... Uh, he does for extra... Build the Dreams. For, uh, yeah, he makes good money doing that. Every day? I don't know about every day. Hmm. He drives a th uh, 350K Rolls Royce Wraith. I mean, he's probably got a little bit of cheddar still. Nice guy. He's a risk kind of guy. Can you get him on the show? We could try, yeah. Could you imagine I would just fall out of my chair... Did you want to get him on the show? If Charlie Hustle was on our show. I'm going to try to get him on the show. Oh, my God. Next time I see him, I'm going to ask him. You got to tell him that I grew. I was born in Ohio. I love the Reds. Come on, man. Yeah. It'd be great. Yeah, what is that? What's that 75 team? What were they called? I don't know. Dude, they were nasty. They had Johnny Bench? Yeah, they had Tony Perez. They had some players, Tom Seaver. Anyway, they were really good, man. Um, but yeah, we'll try to get them on the show. Can we go over um oh, I got to I got to I got to pay the bills. Hey, we had a great show yesterday. Autonomous is podcast launch. Check out Congressman Aaron Shock on the Todd Alt podcast, Autonomous on Autonomous, on our YouTube channel, Alt Todd Alt. Autonomous. Autonomous. Get it? Ah. 
You know, there's a lot of things that play on words with your last name. Yeah, someone called me Ultimate today. Ultimate. Hey, Ultimate. Alt Tech. Ultimate. Ultimate Hold'em. <laughs> Give me a break. You hey, gotta, let's get oh, let's get into the football deal. Come on, man. All right, let's do these, it. These media people are risk on, right? Let's see here. They got a hundred billion dollar deal. The new agreement runs through twenty thirty three. I can't even think that far. It's ridiculous. Well, how old will I be in twenty thirty three? Wow. Oh Lord. Uh, oh Lordstown. Super Super Bowl is returning to Disney's ABC channel. There you go. Yep. And Amazon paid a billion dollars per year. For they get the Thursday night action for thirty Thursday night action exclusivity. Well, I'm gonna have to watch that on Amazon. Amazon like, Prime. Wow, Amazon Prime is gonna have the NFL. God. You know, I well, tried are we to out of our we're completely insane. They're gonna stream Thursday night football. Let me ask you a question. Do you try to give a little bit of business away from Amazon? Because I find myself like going to, to Amazon way too much because it's so the the business model is so thorough. The shipping. The access and ease of everything. Do you say, hey, I'm kind of concerned about this giant eating everybody else. Let me look for some dog food somewhere else. You know, they else. started Amazon Health now, right? You can get uh, oh, Amazon's God. had it for a while. And now you can go to an Amazon doctor, apparently. Like this whole Amazon uh, health thing. They, they bought PillPack. Wow. I mean, I mean they're, they're, they, like, they're, they rule the world. Wow. They literally are. This is the Death Star. So instead of. Oh, it's sucking you in. It's a tractor yeah, beam. That's my point. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Wow. I mean, you're, you're. I'm not joking around. I Amazon know. like owns everything. Literally, Jeff Bezos is going to buy the Seattle Seahawks, right? Uh, I mean, he's going to buy them. They're in trust. Uh, what's his name died? Uh, the guy who oh, co-founded uh, Paul Allen. Yeah, yeah. Paul he owns Allen. the Seahawks. They're in trust. They're going to be bought. Bezos is going to write a check and own the Seahawks. He already owns the Washington Post, and he's he dominates the place. Smart. What's his uh, What's his tax exposure annually? I don't know. <laughs> He probably to, doesn't even pay any taxes. We need to talk. That's some sort of way of deferring it for NASA, to all that space stuff he's doing. So he's he's got enough write offs to offset his taxes and money he defers. And I mean, you know, that's the case, right? I know. Let's get his tax returns. Yeah, I know. Elizabeth Warren probably has it. Oh, you think? Yeah. She hey, so knows. Viacom, which is CBS, yep. Fox, and Comcast, which is Universal, are paying more than two billion a year for their package, while Disney, which owns ESPN and ABC, will. Pay around two point seven billion annually. I mean, if you're the NFL, who gets the Super Bowl? I'm sorry, I totally I, everybody. Blanked. ABC gets it, I think, um, for a couple of years. I don't know. Okay, the NFL league has finalized the new uh, eleven rights rights deer. Uh, okay, let me. Can I speak? The NFL has finalized the new eleven year media rights deal in a pack that will run through twenty thirty three. That would be is worth over one hundred billion dollars. That's just for TV. Wow. I guess people like the NFL. The Tom Brady network. Yeah, I mean, Tom Brady helps a lot. Yeah, for sure. But you know what? So does Mahomes. I mean, there's some studs. But this is why they can pay guys like Mahomes during that same 10-year period. Yeah. Half a billion dollars. Well, kind of $480 million, right? Yeah, for sure. Who's counting? I mean, he's the new face once he Brady is. hangs him up. Sure. So for right now, Brady's just kind of fighting father time. It doesn't seem to affect him. He's just winning Super Bowls on new teams and new cities with but new players. But it's the quinoa. Isn't it the quinoa he has every day? With his wife? Although I heard he... I, I did actually hear the other day, he talked about it, that he had a piece of pizza. Wow. That was his cheat, yeah, that was his, like, that was cheat, his cheat day. day for the year. Like two pieces of pizza or something like that. It's amazing. So maybe it's not just quinoa. And you know he was drafted like in the sixth round or some yeah, crazy. Yeah, sure. uh, one ninety nine. Yeah, right. Right. That's kind of like here's a story for you. Being from L A, Mike Piazza was drafted. Oh, love the guy. Yeah. Drafted as a favor to Tommy Lasorda because his family was with friends with the Lasorda family. Right, he was his cousin or something. It was right? a favor. Yeah, like back then it was pretty much. Uh, it was almost unlimited rounds of N- of uh, MLB. There was like sixty plus rounds, and he was taken in the last round and like one of the last picks. In wow. the draft, he's a Hall of Famer. Well, so with baseball, you out. never know, man. They'll find you. That's when I like the Dodgers for like a day. Yeah. Why? Who do you like? I like the Angels. Oh, okay. What do you mean? No, I didn't know. I stopped liking the Dodgers a long time ago. I mean, you got Mike Trout. He's they a sold the team. Yeah. You know, back when I liked the Dodgers, no one will even know what I'm talking about. Steve Garvey. I know Garvey. Ron right. Ron Osei. Can Ron you say? Say, remember? Ron Say Love. Davey Earlopes. Go, say, go. Davey Earlopes. Go. Oh, Davey Davey Lopes. Lopes. <laughs> 
Who else did they have? What's wrong with you, man? I'm thinking of the players they had. Rick Monday. Rick Monday. What Manny about Moda. Rick Sutcliffe? No. Batting cleanup. Manny Moda. Manny Moda. He was a stud. Remember that? Yeah, so that was that was the uh, heyday of the Dodgers. Yeah. That's when the whole team stayed together, and then they let this collective bargaining thing yep. happen, and all hell broke loose. I mean, how many players now play their whole career on the same team? I can think of one, Derek Jeter. Jeter stayed. Yeah, 20 yeah. years. Thank you for your service, Mariano Rivera, another one. He stayed the whole time, too? Yeah, Rivera was there With the With the Yankees time. the whole time? Yeah. Everyone else skips around. And I think Jorge Posada, too. They get the payday. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because guys like Andy Pettit, Roger Clemens, they just went where the money was. You know, Pettit was there a while, but Clemens, he was always a hired gun, literally. I thought he was. What did, I thought he spent most of the time with the Red Sox. Red Sox. He went Toronto. He went New York. True. Yeah, he's with the Blue Jays, too. He had no a couple, way. Yeah, he had a cup of coffee there. Look him up. A couple years there. Huh. Yep. Didn't Man. you like that Congress spent all that time investigating Dude. his lies? Did you see that? Speaking what of that, what a waste of time. Uh, with uh, Jose Canseco, he was one of the big bash brothers in the 80s doing sure, steroids. Of yeah. He had like some kind of fight the other day online. He lasted like 12 seconds. No way. If you could, We need to pull that up. Is that true? The dude lasted like 12 seconds. Yeah, he was Mark McGuire, him. Yeah. Bash brothers, Oakland Sammy A's. Sosa. Yeah. Yeah, that was the... Sammy Sosa. The owners knew that they were taking steroids, but they didn't care because the home run was bringing the fans back after the strike. Right. So they were all colluding. Every day I talk about my buddy Steve. He was a marketing director at Upper Deck, and he knew all those oh, guys. yeah. So I knew all those guys because of him. Yep. He's got some great stories. Hey, Steve, I know you're watching the show today because we've been friends for 20-something years. Oh, I'm getting a question from... I uh, bet you won't come on the show to talk about your stories of all those baseball players. I bet you won't. JDWS, do you buy generic silver or spring for premium names? Oh, good question. All right, let's sp- let's spend some time um, on the on the show. Crypto Joe premium is ninety one, not ninety three. Oh, smart ass. Whatever, ninety three is Florida. Dude. Anyway, so back to the silver question. Right now, the premiums are so high just on generic. I would be looking at your local coin shops instead of looking online at like Atmex or Provident Metal or JM, JM Bullion or SD Bullion. Try to find some silver at your local coin shops and negotiate a deal there. Right now, the premiums are ridiculous. If what spots, if you just melt down your tea set? No, that's different. Isn't there silver well, in there? Sterling, yeah. Oh, st- it's not the same kind no, of silver? No, it's not. It's not 0.99949. It's pure. You need clean silver? Yeah, bullion, yeah. yeah. Bullion. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Royal Canadian Isn't Mint. bullion soup? Bullion is soup, yeah. Or like, bu- that's bullion. Bullion is soup? Or <laughs> bullion. Bullion. Bullion and bullion. So anyway. Whatever, man. The The answer is, right now, premiums are high as heck everywhere. So wherever you can find it, find it. But Don't you kind of feel like this is going to be a low-rated show today? This show? Not really. We got low energy today. No, I don't think so. The Dow was down. They were closing down, and the NASDAQ was down. We have seven minutes to go, and they're pounding it lower and lower. We can bring some negativity into the show. What do you got? The border crisis still? The you know, Biden border crisis. What, what political can I say? 24,000 migrants crossed in Texas in the last two weeks. That's a lot of people. Now, I, I, I want you to understand something. That doesn't make sense to me. How did they know it was 24,000? That's, That's who they guess. apprehended. It's got to be a good guess. No, they did not apprehend 24,000. You did they this to me. apprehended it. You did this to me before, and then you're like, oh, yeah, you're right. No, I said there's a border crisis. Go ahead. But they actually up. apprehended. Do you know how many? Think about it this way. Have you ever counted 1,000 gumballs? Do you know how big Texas is? <laughs> I'm not kidding. 1,000 of anything is a lot. Try to count 1,000 gumballs. One, <laughs> two, Three, and let you got to look at them. And you're telling me they counted 24,000? Let me help you. We whip statistics around all the time. Let me help you. So who counted 24,000 migrants? Todd, how many? Someone actually said, get in line. <laughs> What's your name? I, Rank? I can't even. Come on. It's not true. I got to get on the 24,000. It's a rounding error. I got to fight this. You're making it up. It's Dude. not 24,000. All right. What, what if it was 23,640? It's just you round up to the nearest thousand. It's ridiculous. Oh, so you're seeding me the point that it could be twenty three thousand. It could. Change? It okay. could. I'll take that. I'll take that. But how many border guards are there that count twenty three thousand or twenty four thousand people? I don't know. Biden's firing them all. And by the way, you didn't answer the question. Have you ever counted a thousand gumballs? The human head weighs eight pounds. Jesus Christ, Jerry Maguire. All right, whatever, man. Dude, I- look it. 
What am I supposed to tell you? How what many gum- got? How many gumballs fit in a tractor trailer? I don't know. Okay, how many humans fit in a tractor trailer? I don't know. A good amount, right? Would we make any money if we brought them across the border? Look, they're stopping these caravans and they're stopping these trucks and vans and, and buses. And they're guessing. No, they're apprehending dozens at a time, man. In Texas. Trump. Anyway. One million people showed up to my inauguration. <laughs> One million people. Anyway. It could have been 980,000. You will say that uh, in a Rasmussen poll, 47% of the uh, people said that other people are making decisions for Joe Biden at the White House. So when you talk about this bi- this crisis on the border, it, I might not blame Joe Biden. It could be other people that are deciding this I don't want to get barred from YouTube. We're not getting like barred. That. But all I want to say is it's quite possible that... What's that, what's that called? Manchurian candidate? The Manchurian candidate. What does that mean? Manchurian. Isn't that like fake or like... like? Well, I don't know, man. Not it's, worthy? It's really strange. Yeah. Now, I, well, I want to know, in the last five minutes, what happened to the State of the Union? <laughs> he came out and said President Harris today. Maybe she'll give it. it sounds like a deep fake. What would that be? Cr- no, who's the conspiracy theorist now? Okay, really? He said President Harris... We all know he meant you not Vice bl- President Harris. He said he's done it numerous times. He's her president. Not my president. Anyway, President Harris is tw- is trending on Twitter. Take a look for yourselves. It's really trending? Yes. Well. Yeah. The Manchurian candidate is a person, especially a politician, being used as a puppet. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, Biden is a Manchurian candidate. Manchurian Joe. Well, no, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Producer. Hey, it was my idea. He just got the definition. Yeah, it helped. It helped us but bring it across the finish line. You know why I say line. this right now? Because last night, Christy, my wife, was watching The Manchurian Candidate. Oh, that was a movie. Yes. Oh, and okay. I called her up on the phone. What are you doing? She's, I'm watching The Manchurian Candidate. Okay. Did you ever see that movie, she said to me? No. Well, why? Because I only watch Bill Maher. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding around. I do watch a lot of Bill Maher, though. Hey, it's an entertaining show, and I get pissed and turn it off because he rags on. He used to rag yeah. on Trump so much yeah. that probably like eleven episodes in a row, like I just turned him off because yeah. I got mad. So but I, I do like his new rules. He he's making fun of California yep. because they will not give him solar, and it's been like eleven hundred. Oh, I did see days. that. I do see he's when he's sick put, of it. He brings the billboard. Yeah, he's up. like, "What's the deal with yeah. this place? Right? Yep. <laughs> I can't get solar." No, I do like Bill Maher because I like some of his points. They're well taken. He's got some things that are, you know, he's. he's wait, wait, he's, wait! Hold on a second. This is a full growth moment for you because I thought you just said to me, you ju- you do like Bill Maher. Yeah, I do. You know, you said that. And certain things that okay. he stands for. Wow. I don't want to get into This is him. major progress between you and yeah, I. Yeah, it can be, they're controversial. Right. But he hits the Democrats hard on those he ideas. He does because he thinks they make massive mistakes. Yes. So. Like they're making now. Yeah. Like by trying to take gun rights away from Exactly. People. Right. So what do you think is going to happen in the midterm election? And he's a fan of like a sovereign nation with some border security. He's got common sense. I don't he's know. He's not I, for open I, borders. I still don't know where you put 20, 24,000 gumballs. I mean people. Where yeah. do you put them? I mean, they've said that there's 10 million people in our country that are not supposed to be here, that are not here legally mm-hmm. for the last 15 years. You think when you're, the Indians were like in this country before the USA... They were saying there's a bunch of people in this country right. that are not supposed to be here. Well, there was nothing built. There's no infrastructure. Or no, I agree. Like right. So just TPs. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing there. And, right. then, and then you know we fought them with guns, and that's why guns are part of our country still. So sure. Bill Maher's right. Bill Maher said, "Don't fight over the guns." Right. Yeah, that's what our country was founded on. Right. What, what do Indians eat, by the way? What's Indian food? Not, not the dot Native Indian. American food. Native, is that Native American? Yeah. Tomahawk chop. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Got it. But okay, I didn't know. Anyway. I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah. You guys, uh, the market did not do well today. What's the risk on stock for tomorrow? Hey, by the way, I do want to cover a couple things on stock because this is a show about stocks and risk. And unfortunately, we dabbled in topics that we spent probably too much time on. We kind of had fun with stuff today, actually. We did. Nick, we go to the screen. Uh, Rocket Mortgage is almost back down to where it was before it blasted off. I think we got all right out of that. I think we got out of that. Boy. We saved ourselves there. Bitcoin fifty seven eight. Right. So we'll see what happens overnight. Wait. Gold and silver hey, has no. I interest. want to talk about mistakes real quickly. Can you bring up that Tommy Boy thing? So <laughs> yesterday I was told to buy something, and I accidentally pressed the sell button, and I sold five thousand shares of Clean 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 Spark. Clean Spark. In about two seconds yeah. at the wrong price. Oh yeah, that's right. You got to pay attention, right? That was a yeah. You fixed it, but sure. I got my rear kicked there. I did fix it, but it proves that everyone can make mistakes trading. You got to pay extra attention, 
Especially when you're pressing the sell button when you really mean the buy button. Oh, yeah, that for sure. That was kind of a mistake. But it's happened. Not a big deal. I wonder if you can hear this audio. But Amazon has never made a profit, not a dime. In fact, it lost $125 million last year. The company says it's investing for the future. Skeptics say it would have to sell every book being sold in the world today to justify its stock price. I think my generation grew up with Sears, and Amazon is worth 20% more than Sears. Is worth. Hey, this is living wow. proof that the market changes. Sears is out of business. Amazon de dominates the world. We love this program. We appreciate you watching us. It's the 33 episodes. You got to pay attention. The market's always changing. We're always finding new stuff here. Pay attention here. We love you. Thank you so much. We'll see you in Orange County tomorrow. Take care. Nice.